greetings to you, brothers and sisters, in Jesus' name. It's good coming your way this morning. I'm looking at uh, the book of Revelation chapter 3. It says in verse 20, the words of Jesus Christ to the Laodicean church. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He's knocking. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come to him and I will sup with him and he with me. You know, that was the scripture I've heard it being taught or preached. And they take that as a salvation verse. Jesus Christ standing and knocking at your door, seeking admission. So they take it as a salvation verse. But that's totally out of context. Because looking at it in context. Now anything out of context is a pretext. But talking to the Laodicean church, he is kept outside of the church, not inside. So he's not talking about coming into your heart. He's talking about the church. And this is what he says. Let me read it. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. So my brother, my sister, in the last church age, or the last church, which is the Laodicean church, which is where you and I are today, do you know that in many churches, Jesus Christ is not welcome inside. He's standing outside of the door. And he's knocking at that church door. So I want to ask us a question, yourself a question. Is he outside of our life? Or do we have him inside of our life? And in the very same way that he's knocking at the church door today, he's knocking at our hearts today, and he's saying to us, if you would allow me to come and be part of your life, to be your Lord, to be your Savior, to be your Redeemer, to be your Master. He says, if you would allow me to do that, it's only then I will be able to take you through this life's journey. Or else you'll be walking with me, walking by yourself with me outside. So, where is Jesus Christ in our lives today? Is he outside or is he inside? If he's inside, we are safe. If he's outside, we are not safe. Shall I pray with you? Father, today, O oh God, we just read this powerful verse of scripture. And dear God, we pray that we will have you inside, O oh God. We do not want to keep you outside. And Father, we pray that even as you are in our lives, a part of our lives, your blessing, Lord, rest upon us. In Jesus' name, amen.